Hey, good afternoon, River Church. Pastor Josh with you, inviting you to step inside with me. Now, I mean two things by that. Real quick, here's the first thing that I mean. Here's what you're looking at. We are currently outside of the main entrance of the auditorium of River Church. Behind me, you can see the foundation. Ultimately, the parking lot and the sidewalk will be right here at this level. And then you're looking at four pieces of steel which are the main entrance into the auditorium. So picture with me between these two pieces of steel close to me here, glass doors all the way across the entrance, and then above those glass doors is a window assembly that kind of, let me see if I can get it right, that goes all the way to the top of that steel. And then it's mirrored on the far side. On the far side, there are glass doors. Uh, again, this is in the auditorium. And then above those doors is a, a glass assembly uh, that looks out onto the river. So you walk in to the auditorium through these pieces of steel here, and you can actually walk out onto a small balcony on the far side of the auditorium uh, through glass doors looking over the river. And so I thought that would be a fun way for you to, to step inside with me to see what our auditorium is already starting to look like now that we have set the steel on the project. Here's another way that I wanna challenge you and encourage you to step inside with me, and that is to increase our level of engagement with this project. Here's what's been happening. Up until now, we've been kind of on the outside as a church of this project. There have been a number of reasons for that. A lot of the work, the first third of the work that's been happening through July and August is for contractors, concrete guys, steel guys, guys who know how to drive bulldozers and, and large pieces of equipment. Honestly, there wasn't much for River Church to do for the first third of this project. And so we've been on the outside. Uh, maybe we've been on the outside of the project because it's summer in New England and we're vacationing. Maybe we've been on the outside of the project because of work. Maybe we've been on the outside of the project because of COVID related concerns. Maybe we've been on the outside of the project simply because our kids have been home forever and someone has to be home with them. Totally understandable and okay that many of us have been outside of this project uh, ever since the beginning, ever since we started. As of Monday, however, it's not okay to be outside anymore. It's time to step inside. It's time to step into this project as a church. Here's why, two reasons. Number one, we're moving into the second stage of this project, the second third, if you will. What's going to happen here from here on out is people nailing pieces of wood together. All that is gonna be volunteer labor. It starts on Monday. And so there's no excuse now to not be involved because we can all carry wood, nail wood, clean up the site, run a broom. There's all ways that we can contribute to the construction side of this project, as well as the hospitality side. Hospitality side, here's the second reason why it's not okay to be outside anymore, but it's time to step into this project. That is because we have a team of over a dozen volunteers coming Monday morning who have taken off time from work, who are leaving their families, overcoming their COVID concerns, and someone's gonna be watching their kids and it's not gonna be them, and they are coming here to help build a church that they're never going to attend, to reach a community that they're never going to live in, to share the gospel to people that they're never gonna meet. And if they can do that for us next week, well then surely it's time for us to step inside. So how can we do it? Here are a couple of ways that we can step into this project next week. And uh, so real quick, bring some snacks to church this weekend. Bring some water, bring some Gatorade. Let's take great care of our awesome volunteers that are coming next week. Maybe next week uh, you can't take the week off from work to come and help. That's fine. Everybody understands that, but maybe you can take a day off. And if you can take a day off next week, take Thursday or Friday off. Come and join us towards the end of the week to help us finish the week strong. Uh, maybe you are not a construction person, and honestly, if someone asked you to do something construction related, it would be more of a problem than it would be a blessing. That means there's other ways to help. Come and pray. Come and make a new friend. 
Come and encourage those who are going to be here working all during the week next week. Come and help with the hospitality side of things. If you can't bring a snack or some water or some Gatorade to share this weekend to church, which we'll then bring to the site next week, take some time during the week, pick up the lunch and bring it here to the crew. Help us keep the water cold and the Gatorade fresh and service the hospitality area that we're going to have. Those would be some great ways to help. Also, uh, maybe you don't have time during the week at all next week for whatever reason. Then consider coming after work on either Wednesday or Friday and help do some of the chores around the site preparing for the next day. So whether it's taking a day off, taking the week off, bringing some snacks or water or Gatorade to church this weekend that we can then transport to the site, whether it's coming during the, the, the week to freshen up the water coolers and the hospitality station or coming to pray, uh, we would. it's time to step inside. A lot of us have been outside for a long time. That's okay, it's understandable. As of Monday, it's not okay. Step inside, find what you can do and do it. If it helps, there's a form on our website on the 32 School Street and you can fill that form out. That'll help us get in touch with you and to coordinate your efforts. And finally, now that we have the massive dirt pile moved, uh, it's not here on site anymore, it's all been spread out. Uh, there is a live stream of our construction site available at all times on our website under the 32 School Street tab. So thanks for a few minutes on this beautiful uh, Thursday afternoon, and we'll see you this weekend in church, and we'll see you next week on the site.